Oh, hello there. Hello, hello. Hang on, I'm going to get a hat on. And cut my hair yet. So this is... Hiya. Um, the start of my May unboxing video. Now, the washing machine's going on in the background. Funny story is that we got in and I was expecting post and I got a little red envelope. So some of the post office I've got to pick up tomorrow. And if you follow the channel, um, I'm suppressing doing loads of multiple videos. I like... I liked April's unboxing in one big epic video, um, but unless it's something I've really got a bit of passion about and I can be creative for weird, wacky, but wonderful and making them that, I'm um, just gonna open them up. I mean, I love videoing, filming, I always have, but recently I've been challenging myself more um, with a lot of stuff. The cat's just walked out behind the curtain. I didn't even know the cat was there. Um, but the reason why this is a start, um, I want to do another part in a bit because I need to go and get a few bits and bobs to justify why I was. But um, I was on the phone with my mum, and you don't need to know this, but you do for this video. Me and Gran unfortunately went in the hospital yesterday morning, and it was a great start of the day. Uh, blue flashy lights and all that, especially COVID because I can't even go and visit a blesser. But um, one of the vouchers I got for my birthday when my mum was here on um, Sunday, because it was my mum's birthday, quite close to mine. And um, we ordered some, and I was speaking one night about my grand, and I was like, hey, mum, what is this at? <laughs> so I was talking to my mum, going, where's this order at? Because I ordered on her Amazon account. The guy came walking up the street, and I was like, ah! And here it is. So this is the first thing. Now, I've got to nip out after this. So the idea is, this is if it's anything like its predecessor, the last one, It'll take a while to uh, be able to play. Not like an old Mega Drive game. Bop, bop, on. So it's from Amazon. So. And it's right. So I'm expecting this to be wrong. Mortal Kombat. PlayStation 4, right? Ultimate Edition, right? All the extra features, right? Um, yeah, um, Robocop, Rambo, Terminator. Big fan of Mortal Kombat. Haven't seen the new film yet. Um, just one of those things I'm going around and doing yet. So, but yeah, I've got a few more DVDs and Blu-rays there. I'll get to them in the next one where I could justify them. So, I'll see you in the next part of the video. Right, so I'm upstairs. What a fiasco that Mortal Kombat was. It says put this disc in first, right? So put it in first and see. Will you please put on the other disc? I was like, well, I meant to put this disc in first. And then it's got a download code, so it's got two discs. So I put the other disc in, which is put in second, and it's doing some of it. Brilliant. Right, okay, first up, I'm not going to apologise, like the sun's about to go down. Um, I just want to chill out. So I bought three Blu rays today. Well, two Blu rays, one DVD. And um, I had to buy them because I've been customer ordering these, so I'll have a little bit of rant about these. First up, out the bag, um, The Legend of Billie Jean. Right, so we've got a bit of a story about this. Um, I'm a massive Christian Slater fan, and uh, Christian Slater was awesome to meet in real life, and um, it's great when you see a film from back in the day you never seen. Uh, especially when you're going down IMDb and stuff like that, and you see that, like, what's this, what's that? Um, and this is the Legend of Billie Jean. Now, I originally lent this off Casper, who had a Blu-ray import of it, and it is in the good, the bad, and the what the fuck series I do. And um, a lot of people thought these were sisters because it's Helen Slater, Christian Slater, the Legend of Billie Jean. Um, I really enjoyed this. It's a very powerful movie for the time. Um, it's something that it deserves to come out now, especially showing how powerful women were in the 80s. Lovely 80s cheese. Um, but again, it's from the Christian Slater collection. It's rocking the new 15 rating and stuff. The cover is exactly the same as it is in the American one. The thing about this is, though, over the last two years, America has seen two, and more recently, key releases of Christian Slater movies that, to me, are iconic as fuck, right, to, like, my childhood. Um, pop up the volume and cuffs. have both been released in America. And... Fingers crossed that they could come this way, but to see The Legend of Billie Jean come out on DVD and Blu-ray for the first time, I think, ever. You know? It's not like the Blu-ray's been knocking around and hard to get a hold of, like Gleaming of the Cube kind of thing. It's never been available. And uh, the, the joke with Casper was um, it was new release for Monday Gone, and Casper's like a hawk. Like, Casper's always got stuff at work pre-ordered. You, you see someone get, ah, go on, customer order. Ugh. 
And it, it, it's all right, because sometimes when Casper pre-orders stuff earlier on, we'll get a second copy. But I uh, swooped that one on the Casper. Swooped it. But yeah, it's a good film. The other one um, is Uncle Peckerhead. Dun, dun, dun. 101 release. Now, I done a review rant random for that because when I was first moving in the house my stepdad Morris was just waffling on about Uncle Picklehead not Peckerhead Picklehead like what the fuck are you talking about and at the old house I still had Sky and it was a throwaway movie for Sky Premier and I fucking loved it it's about a band who don't have a van the guy's like I can use a van but I always wanted to be a band I'll be a roadie and he turns into a demon and they're like well what the fuck do we do and they have to just put up with it because they need to do it and I loved it, and I reached out, and I spoke to the, the actors, um, the Instagram, and it's a fucking amazing film. Now, on Monday, gone, I appeared not only on HMB, but also on 101 Films, waffling on about Uncle Peckerhead. So, on Sunday, before we shut the shop, um, I put this out, and I was like, Uncle Peckerhead's out on the morrow! And obviously, I pre-filmed it, so when it came out, it's out now. But what an amazing film. So it came out on the 3rd of May. Um, check it out. And uh, 101's, like 101 bring a lot of films out. And then normally they're a bit older. FX, some Van Damme films, you know, Land Before Time, Origin, whatever. But like, I would love 101 to do more stuff like this. Again, talking about cuffs and pump the volume. 88, they look, they look like they could be 88 films kind of era, but this is amazing comes with the director's comp read a music video and it's cast comedy actually short film larry's gone demon trailer it's just fucking brilliant like it's absolutely fucking brilliant um i'm just going to quickly open this before i waffle on about someone else but as i say i like you know like it's not like i need to rush in there and nip and took this video these all take place now over a month um, i'm trying not to buy stuff as well um again i finished the uh April unboxing and I sort of had my birthday presents like you've got Pray the Roller Boys there and license to drive neither of them you can see but I've just realised you can actually see me mirror hello <laughs> I bought that mirror when I bought the frame for Pray the Roller Boys so yeah bought a mirror <laughs> inside just basic on standard there but it's fucking awesome I had that in the collection that's a prized possession that it's a fucking awesome movie that's two Blu-rays right going back to this this came out two weeks ago and it was back catalog and it only came in because i ordered it now you're gonna think why did i order it um when you see what else i'm gonna talk about um it's a corey feldman movie and i'm always gonna buy corey feldman movies and it is tales of the crypt bordello of blood now fast forward reviews a really old one um Check out uh, Afron Jones in a video rama because there's a reference to Afron all the way back then. I always see his name wrong. Um, but yeah, I've got the Crypt Keeper on there, a pair of legs, Dennis Miller, Ariki, Ever Angie Everhart. I always get their name wrong. Corey Feldman does appear on the back of the box. Really bad artwork. Um, Corey Feldman's name is way down on there, Corey Feldman. Um, I remember watching this for the very first time at Video Village in New Zealand in 1996. So I've got a bit of love for that. Demon Knight was heavily advertised. So there you go. Where the fuck is Demon Knight? This was meant to be a part of a trilogy. Demon Knight being the first. That's the second. There's never completed it. And Tales of the Crypt, you know, could come back. Now, it's got its new brand new 18. So it's not like it's been found on DVD and chucked out. It's by Final Cut through Universal. But again, it's got a really bad... I'm not even going to bother opening on that. I'm going to keep it sealed. It's a really bad cover. Right, okay, so... Casper was like, what the fuck are you buying that for? It's called him DVD. It's, that's just like buying a VHS, you know what I mean now. A DVD has held on quite a lot. But about four years ago, give or take, because it came out while we were in the old HMV, Bordello of Blood came out on Blu-ray. The DVD didn't. But uh, exactly the same. The 18's completely different though. And exactly the same back. So, it's still final cut. Doesn't have universal on the spine, but yeah, completely the same. So, you would think, in how much cult following Blu ray has um, for horror, that this would surprise. I mean, Demon Knight might be coming out, that's maybe why that appeared, but yeah, you would think that they would bring it out. So, Bordello Blood's out, but Bordello Blood has also been out for a very long time in America, and that's the cover. 
and fuck me I hate that cover now first off that's Angie Everhart on the front cover not uh, Erica Erica more famous for being on Baywatch and on Siege so that there you've got the Crypt Keeper and Dennis Miller Dennis Miller who I've only ever seen in Murder 1600 um, Corey Feldman movie again this is how you would get it back in the day it's an American import so yeah it's pretty it's pretty random that it would change cover like that wouldn't it but this is also cool. Now, this has had its own retro VHS. I remember this because it's from Torquay. It's got a bit loose in it. It's Bordello of Blood, big box VHS. I didn't think this had came out. The reason why, because I'd never ever seen it. I only ever seen this in New Zealand. And I actually picked this up cheap on eBay. It's one of the ones where you can search Corey Hame and Corey Feldman all the time. When you search the film title, you never know what you're going to fucking find. So yeah, it's a bit of an advice there. I've given away my secret of finding these rare films. But yeah, it's just weird that the cover's changed. So it's cool to have it on VHS, DVD, and Blu-ray. It's always the legs, the Crypt Keeper. Just sort of get zoomed right in, but as I say, Casper's like, you're gonna fucking watch that? Probably not. <laughs> I love the rest reference to Corey Feldman and uh, the Lost Boys. You know, there's a film where Corey Feldman's a vampire. So. I think I've killed enough time for Mortal Kombat to load, I think. But I've got a few things on order, um, a couple of VHSs. One of the VHSs I ordered for my birthday, I will make a separate video for that because I'll go into the cover. It'll always be about the cover. I've just realised that there's one been parked up for ages and they've actually been watching me filming this, whatever. Anyway, um, so yeah, a couple of things um, I've ordered, but I don't plan on spending too much money this month. I don't. I really hope not anyway. You know, I can never tell. You know, shops are open again. Weekly fucking visits to shops, weekly fines, boot sales. I've got a month I've got a week off during May. That's gonna be dangerous. So welcome to the May unboxing really video. I'm gonna go and play Mortal Kombat. See you next time in the next part of the video. That's what I meant. Bye for now. Okay. What is this? Part three? Before we get interrupted here because trying to form me man. So, um, one of my three VHSs has turned up. Say one of three. Um, you know, one, I've got to do something else with it. So, there'll be a separate video for this actually. Because. Dun, dun, dun. Sunday night, I sniped somebody. Um, I wanted this for ages and I've given up trying to find it on the whim. Um, wow, it is. I'm out. The big box. Um, Police Academy and the old Warner Brothers Spongy. Oh man, they could have fucking wiped that before the sound was like. Got a bit of mold on the tapes. This is hi fi. Um, well, look at that man and there's a reason why I mean it's had the it's obviously had the stickers so it's almost a pre cert because they've obviously had to add the stickers on later on I obviously have the other six um, so yeah it's the reason why I got that so that's a completely separate video so I'm not going to go into it but there yeah, see you in the next bit of the video hello and welcome to the next part I'm just about to film somewhere else you want to check out the ball of bands I've worked with I'm about to do some with Paul there so anyway um, Bordello Blood is in that box. Started watching it and man, Bordello Blood was a big budget movie. You know, like it looks good for Universal, but just dumped out, fell asleep. Um, it's a bit quirky. A lot of fun, I think, but yeah, a little bit quirky. Um, but Short Circuit actually came in as a customer order at work, so I bought that yesterday. Um, and Brit, me and Britt watched it last night and I really loved it. It doesn't look great on Blu ray. It's, it's one of them that. And this, I mean, this is second sight, so it's black. I mean, sucker for a black box, but uh, Blu-ray, like, um, you get a really good commentary on this as well. S.S. Wilson and Brad Maddock, who are three, uh, two of the three people who created Tremors as well. Um, so again, it's like, um, it was great. You know, Brit really laughed all the way along. Uh, I love the song in it, me and Paul Ray. Today I watched the, the music video on work, so. Just to chuck Short Circuit in there, Short Circuit 2 will be in this. I haven't even unboxed it. Um, also, rewatched The Legend of Billie Jean. Um, Britt had a few comments about uh, 
Helen Slater in this, Suki, oh my god, that delivery was terrible. And you look back and you go, yeah, it kind of was. But um, Pat, uh, Pat Berner, Pat Berner, Invincible. That song's been stuck in my head. I was playing in a work and stuff like that. Um, absolutely, like the theme tune of it. Um, I enjoyed it. Um, wasn't totally like scrubbed up for Blu-ray, but yeah, it was pretty good. Now the main part of this. Um, thanks once again to Retro uh, Gamer VX living next door. But this came opened. Um, it's pretty weird actually. I don't know. If they've opened it. Going, what's he ordered? Now I'm not. I'm not accusing him next door of opening it. Right? Like it's an eBay job. It's quite loose inside. I normally, when I sell my like stuff, it'll be the way I fold it over and tape it down. But can you imagine this? If you were next door and like, what the fuck's he ordering? You know, all this stuff. This is a corker. Now, I haven't realized with buying stuff that I am literally going to have to uh, sort of take the next step and sort out the bathroom because the bathroom's falling a bit. So the fucking window's not working. I've already placed the shower. It needs tiler, and I promised Dad. Uh, Turner that he could tile the bathroom and we'll do a video of it when we first moved in just never got around with, with lockdown and stuff like that but I might have to say it because like when I go down nostalgia trip and stuff like that I've been searching for stuff now hopefully this is something I've been searching for for a long time and you're gonna think it's fucking weird that I've got this but as a collector right got it so unfortunately I lost my nana when I was really young and um, I have a lot of vague fun memories for my nana um, I can't I'm sitting on this chair like this, for example. This is from my nana's living room. This was painted by my uncle Peter, and uh, my nana's house used to look out towards Penshaw Monument. And my uncle Peter drew it, and um, always remember as a couple of things. Now there's me and Brian. Um, me and Brian were quite close as kids, but then, you know, his dad and mum moved up to Shetland, and you know, still see each other and stuff like that. But it's quite limited anyway. A lot of fun memories. Um, Count Duckley. Honey, I shrunk the kids. You know, my nana had a few, you know, DVDs, uh, a few VHSs, sorry, back in the day, top load of deck as well. Um, I've still got, it's in storage, the fucking big massive vinyl player they used to have with a tape deck and that weighs a ton. So there's been one VHS I've tracked down and of all the years of YouTube and that, this should be it. Probably be a bit baffled by this. Now, is it that? it? It's very vague. I haven't fucking seen this maybe in fucking 30 fucking years. That's all wrapped up here. So. Again, this is part of the March. It's fucking May, Stephen. The May unboxing. Um, let's have a look. Ugh. It's a Channel 5 VHS. Now, I never, this is the problem. I, I'm going to know as soon as I open the box because I've never seen the cover. It was always just on the shelf with a a white writing on it and orange writing and it's lassie <laughs> thinking what the fuck um wild dogs are fun to mountain i just remember it as a kid and it's just one of those things you would watch it was made in 1983 like fucking hell it's on for 40 minutes seems about right lassie on top so it just says lassie so it's maybe ears are not the one i fucking remember watching I've got a lot of event to do nights and the video player is just there and we'll play on that telly so again um there's not that many lassie vhs's and i just remember this indian's face in the fucking mountain side and i just remember it. i went hi and it was just you know what i mean something that i totally forgot about till the chains of this fucking brain have been shaking loose i went fucking right so yeah that's the next dub and pop i was gonna say the lights are up the camera set i made the effort and you called me b before i filmed something well, I'm going to fill Paul up with, um, I'm going to, it's going to be tough, it's going to be tough because there's a big box of fucking CDs down there and Paul's meant to be, you know, the best of the best of the bands. So yeah, make sure you check out that video. I'll probably be similar like this in the thumbnail. But yeah, see you in the next part of the video. Just before we get to the next part of the video, if you're wondering what the white jizz was, maybe it's in my beard. Because I didn't call me video, me video, didn't call me beard before that. It was beard gel, all right? It wasn't just Gary Glitter jizz. I know. See you in a while. Where's that little bastard going? It's a huge rat. Chop fuck off when I do the lawn one.
we got a glare. Okay, just want to point out the following video footage. What's next door? The rat is not in our garden and I've mowed them. Um, been up the games galaxy today, awesome guys. And if you probably noticed for a very long time, you go back through all the videos of this guy for absolutely ages. He's a Mangalore. Corbin Dallas. I love the fifth element. Now that is the fifth element um, VHS up there that for years I could not find. And it was buried. Just see my boogie and tits. But there you go. Corbin Gatalis. Melty Pass. Um, got the fifth element on Steelbook. To fucking see the eye, such a letdown. I love the artwork, got the soundtrack as well. It's fucking no extra features, man. So, anyway, um, I'm having a bit of a move around. Um, eventually, in this room, there's a lot of stuff I've bought just been dumped. Um, a lot of things I need to sort out. Bought a lot of frames today, but I've also bought these. So, there's two. But Gaming's Galaxy had the um, Key Sky in, and I originally bought like him along with the two Hellboy ones, which I'll get one of them in my hands in a second, but the idea is to have the two Guardians, there we go, an army, and then these two. So originally, that's when I originally got them. His head broke in one of my videos, so I glued that on. I forget which video that broke, it was a while back. Was like five, six years ago when that happened. I remember, I remember. But yeah, this is just a quick random, as I say, give, They've gone in there. I've picked up um, Time Cop today. And the reason why I picked up Time Cop on DVD, it's actually all green. Um, I think it was on the cover to cover, the What's on the Wall video I did. And I was having a rant about Time Cop, so that's lying around as well. So, yeah, as I say, I want to do a before and after. I come in and go right, because I've got a few ideas for stuff. Um, it'll be next week when I'm off, you know. and. The Pennywise figure I bought, I think that might have been in last month's video, still sitting on the floor, boxed up. Bray Wyatt, the Fiend, and Bray Wyatt, the Pop Vinyl, came into here and then lost their home to um, the shelf I had for the base of the other bands. I just put them on the bottom of the shelf there. So, yeah, see you in the next part of the video. Can't see Splinter out there anywhere today. Um, I should really, I'll get an outtake in my garden. No, I won't actually. No outtake. You know, yesterday when I did it, I had um, you know, some work visors on, and they were like yellow. And I was like, yeah, the garden looks really vibrant. And that I took them off. I was like, fuck me, it looks dire. Um, when I first moved in, so I had a fire in the garden. So got grass seed down there. Maybe it's next year. It will shine. But yeah, um, last night we watched Short Circuit Two. So this is the Reese by Eighty Eight Films. I appeared on Eighty Eight Films um, this week. Took a picture of this at work, we got some more in. Um, I totally remember Commodore 64 and Short Circuit. And then I totally remember Steve Guttenberg and G.W. Bailey from Police Academy being in the first. Then the fact that Fisher Stevens is actually white. Never gonna recover after that, to be honest with you. But this is a lush set now. The first one I ordered in didn't look great. When TriStar Horse was running awards, I was like, oh. And it's got commentary on it and stuff like that. I'm um, set inside, I think it is, but nah. As I say, nice little box. 25 on the back. This would have been great as a box set, you know what I mean? But again, all the time, you know, like, you, why didn't you get a box out of that? We get them owned by two different companies and stuff. So yeah, it's obviously the new front cover. And inside, um, Mortal Kombat 11. <laughs> but obviously, they flipped the cover. Um, the cover I have on DVD is the green one. I'm looking around the corner. And there, short circuit too. I mean, coming out the manhole cover, and not one point is B E N spelled Ben. Is he ever down the sewer, Johnny Five? It's actually Michael McKean, who's actually in the X Files, um, and also in um, yeah, it's, it's in quite a lot of stuff. Him, so. flip cover, yeah, it's like again, that's the cover. But inside, you got loads of postcards, and you get that one there as well. That one, class, what's going to be a poster in a minute. So these are really, really cool. It's totally these cheese. Short circuit two. Um, that's probably a quad, you know what I mean? It's a lot longer than I remember. Now it is uncut and uh, there was a few things, but I was just like, eh, there's just a few things I don't even remember. Um, so you get a really big book. Lots of publicity stuff, shots in there. Um, it's one of the, it's really nice print actually. 
but there's loads of PR things and all all the cast, you know, like posing for stuff. So they'll all look like they've had a lot of fun, see there. Guy's white. And there's a typical behind it. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty cool book. And then the poster. The poster's one of the ones um feels old. It smells funky, it's like obviously gonna be recycled paper sets, so Johnny Fives, short set of two, the big city input, and then obviously that one. But it's a weird size for him as well, so I'm probably struggle to get frames for that. Um, it looked fucking amazing. It did, it looked really good. I haven't got through any of the extra features yet. Um, I haven't even put that cover back in properly when I look at it properly. Um, but as I say, like, company, I think it's got a company track on. So it's got the making of a new interview, um, audio company by screenwriters, which is an actually say movie company actually. Uh, all new feature comedy with director, so it hasn't got S.S. Wilson and Br um, Brad Medic, who did obviously Tremors. So they did the comedy for the first one, but it's the director done for that, so that's a shame. Um, but yeah, it's a nice set. Happy to have it in the collection. Fond memories of it. Um, it's got no links to Wally, and Brit never seen it. I pulled a really nasty trick on Brit. It's almost as bad as. Um, when I made her watch a Little Shop of Horrors, but I made her watch the director's cut for the first time, where fucking plot already kills everyone. But I was like, look at the ending, it's amazing. Uh, my kid gets it all uh, jacked up and he's bleeding to death and he writes dying on the wall. And Britt was just like, oh no, he's not going to die, is he? I was like, well, I didn't make a third, did I? And then I was just like, oh, come close, come close. And she's like, oh no, gave her up, and obviously then he's not alive, you know. But, but again, as a kid, if, someone, if you watched it when you were a kid, you'd feel like that, so yeah. Like David Johnson, if you watch the Goonies, <sighs> jokes. It's it. We're gonna end that. Yeah. So yeah, next part of the video. So yeah, I didn't get far from talking about um, Short Circuit Two. Um, being in a steel town today, and Matt's gives a lot of me uh, DVDs back, so I've got Army of One, Justice, The Good Neighbor, and Color Out of Space. Matt's had them ones for a while, actually. All. Nicholas Cage mainly in base. There's that there, Time Cop was on about. It's got a lush colour. And it's an 18. It's obviously now it's got red and it doesn't suit red. And it's got the 18. There'd be nothing different about it, but let's see, that's cool. It's absolutely cool actually. Um it's got the VHS. It hasn't aged very well. But one of the things I wanted to do was I bought this today for 20 pence. Canadian bacon. Um quite hard to get a hold of now. Um it looks fine. I'm actually going to watch that on VHS. Um, I don't know if I actually talked about it last year. I actually watched last year the other night when I was editing. It's only on 40 minutes. It's exactly what I remembered. I mean, it's been 30 years since I'd seen it. And just, I, I felt like it was, because I'd never ever seen it outside my Nana's living room. Do you know what I mean? So just that nostalgia. Everything about my Nana's house was there. Um, it's quite. <laughs> You know, the song was there, last see, did the day and rescue rangers. I was just like, whoa, what's going on? It's just like proper like childhood trauma coming back. <laughs> and um, just the mountain. Just the mountain, never filming on there again. Um did you like them reflexes by the way? Um the mountain with the Indian's face. And just the voices. The loads of them are just like dark shadows for ages. But it's, all, it's quite uh, bleak, like, it's all about, like, stealing land off the Indians and stuff like that, and, you know, it's very, um, on deadly ground with Steven Seagal vibe going on. But yeah, Brasky, Rescue Rangers, I can't believe the camera really went there. Shows, uh, yeah, feels fine. Fucking tripod, man. Anyway, next bit of the video. Okay, hello, welcome to the next part. I don't know from the last time I filmed, it was probably about a week ago, for this. Which is the unboxing of me. I just realised I need to change that poster, which I'll do now. Um, have a think what I want it to be. So I picked this up yesterday. <gasps> Can't see it. Can't get the lights on. Look at that. Batman. I don't have many Batmans. I've got the whole army of the Joker, the Riddler, Two Faced. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I think one of my friends wants to buy it. I mean, it'd be Carl. Sorry. See, look at that. Dead funky colours. See, it comes in a box. I don't want to kind of open them. But then Brit was like, it'll glow in the UV. It'll glow in the UV. 
she says. It actually doesn't. So that solves that problem. No, I didn't go to the UV, so um, yeah, again, you just see pop vials and you pick them up and, you know, so yeah, I think Carl's going to have that. But, um, hopefully this is the video where Godzilla's in it, he glows in the dark. Now, um, I'm not bothering chasing around, I haven't seen a chase actually, um, running around, because there's quite a few. There's big Godzillas, big King Kongs. <laughs> Um, there's Godzilla raw, there's Godzilla in the dark, there's Kong with a fucking raw red eyes, there's, there's Metagodzilla. I don't think Metagodzilla looks really good. So I'm not bothered. But I want a Godzilla and King Kong in front of my PC monitor because Kong, Godzilla looks mint, breathing fire. And um, looking at the back of the box, I was like, right, okay. Now the problem is, I bought this from the Burning Planet, and a week later I got the dispatch unit. It's like, it has been destroyed. I mean, it's. When is it? It's fucking Saturday. Two weeks. Two fuck. So the day, the day I got the Godzilla, is the day I got the Kong. I waited that long, and then I fucking seen it on the shelf when I picked that up. So I was just looking around. So I'm always looking out for a few pop vinyls, and I want to say this right now: I'm never ruling out just looking for pop vinyls because of the fiend. Like, I love Bray Wyatt's character and his transformation and the feeling it's fucking class. The pop vinyl prices are through the roof and one day it was just sitting in game on the shelf. Brit was like, look, I was like, fuck, 20% off as well. Like £9.90 for the fiend. And now uh, I'm almost looking out to complete the set of Tombstone collection. So I refuse to eBay buy them yet, but you know. There we go. So this is from Forbidden Planet. We ain't forbidden planet dispatch unit. That was fucking ages ago. There you go. Packed really well for a small little pop final. Dun dun dun. And it is Kong with a battle axe. So the, yeah, there was to the big ones. There's Godzilla normal, Godzilla red heat, but I've got the Godzilla with the heat ray and glows in the dark. Meta Godzilla, which was the massive spoiler. Ready battle Godzilla King Kong. King Kong with an axe and battle scarred Kong where he's got black eyes and he's holding a fucking little skyscraper a bit. So as I say, he looks a bit more curious, so I wanted to go for. Him. So these aren't in the boxes. I've got the first generations of the other ones. Bye. So a little head. That's really good. Cool. I've uh, been quite disappointed for the lack of um, memorabilia and stuff so far. And I might get me. I mean, I'm definitely. I was gonna be bought at work. Karen was just like, just you know, just you know. I've said no to the massive King Kong. I was like, what? I said, what? And obviously, at work we're gonna get the big statue of Godzilla intended there. King Kong for outside in the mall and that and obviously the matter of so I won't let us have it. And it's like twelve foot and she showed us the picture and I was like, oh, it's Godzilla, not King Kong. And it's actually based off the original, so I was like, it doesn't really make much sense. I just found that in the warehouse. I would have just had it in the house. <laughs> so yeah. Douche. So, yeah. The real side of it, I don't like the meta Godzilla for it to warrant to be sitting right in front of us, but they're just gonna sit on the sound bar. So yeah, pretty much it. That, that, it will chuck me in there as well. The other tentacles has been opened. Um, need to work on that video, need to listen to it tonight. So yeah, just run. Massive shout out for the love of movies. Just spent 40 minutes just chilling with catching up with him and Alex, um, crossing over videos with that. I sent them last month's unboxing. You fuck another one, an hour and a half. It's an hour and 10 minutes actually. <laughs> but again, I just rather chuck these together, chuck them out. Just do what I want. Because I'm focused on other stuff. Other stuff. Right, see you in the next part of the video. Hello, in the me video. Okay, so you're about to see what quad post I just put on. And because I'm trying to rush for this video, because I'm still working on my day of the tentacles video, I seem to have misplaced the Godzilla unboxing, which I've just run on. Now, maybe it's the Godzilla unboxing appeared in April. Maybe it's it appeared in this. Um, I had Jack wanting a lift about 20 minutes ago. I've been trying to counterbalance a lot of stuff. But for somehow, me Godzilla, 
See? Now, this guy glows in the dark. He's really, really cool. You get this box, and I did opt not to buy them. Um, I'll mention them later on. But since I got Godzilla, and then I got King Kong, and I got the Posca pens, I've wrote better than nothing right across my sound bar, all arty farty. Um, I am using the screen at the moment, but glows, glows all the way. He glows in the dark. It's absolutely awesome. Brilliant fire, Kong there. I really need that screen on. Um, <coughs> so the computer doesn't come on, come on back to us. Come back to us, there we go. Right, let's see what the quad was. Hello. This month, <laughs> for the next four weeks, it is Hulk Hogan, the legendary WWF champion. It's an original, no holes barred, dedicated to Tiny Tommy Lester. Um, but you know what's mint, because obviously I've had the UV light on anywhere for Kong. Look at this. It fucking glows, Hulk Hogan. Zero, go on rip. And another thing, it's him, that kid, the guy from Prayer of the Roller Boys, who's always missing from the Prayer of the Roller Boys artwork. He's actually on the wall now. But yeah, next part of the video. Hello, 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 hello. Right, okay, so, since we're filling in some voids, and you've just seen um, what's on the quad poster, which is no holes barred, Hulk Hogan, raw. <laughs> I've had a few beers, sorry. Um, in the outtakes, there's a couple of clips of the Corbridge boot sale I went to, and um, I didn't do anything with the video. It actually got twisted into uh, the Slimehouse TV um, T-shirt video, very fast tracked. But this found a home, and this is a beautiful painting, and the Loch Ness monster is actually added there now. Um, beautiful painting as well. So I'll put a couple of outtakes if it's got any reference to where that actually came from. But yeah. Just make him uh, completely. That not finding that Godzilla clip. That fucking finger mark for the love of movies. There's through us, but at least I can, you know, I'm just trying to finish this video tonight. Powering on, powering on. Hello to the May unboxing. I've just got in. I've got a sympathy card. It's quite nice for the vets to send us. My uh, thing. <laughs> Trying to keep my eye well. It's the first thing I've actually filmed. Well, it's apart from uh, probably an update that you're not going to see. But yes, unfortunately, Milo has passed away. Oh man, Milo, bless you. Um, so yeah, I'm literally got some tea on, but it doesn't get into later on. So yeah, camera slapped down in the kitchen, just ranting away. It's so hot. Right, let's get this mask off. I definitely need to wash. Wash machine is prepped, ready to go. So I bought some stuff today. Now this is probably going to be the end. Um, it's Van Call the weekend. I might pick something else up over the weekend to wrap it up. Um, I know I haven't filmed loads in the unboxing because that's one of the things I've tried to do is not buy loads of stuff. Um, I'm trying to buy a bathroom. So yeah, that's the next logical step. The bathroom, which is just horrendous. Um, so yeah, I bought some stuff to work today. So again, this just goes in the unboxing videos, the throwaways, the audio can be all over the place, the light will be all over the place. I look ginger as fuck. Um, but yeah, um, so I got some bread at the shop. This is the bread cupboard. So, yeah. I'm gonna have a good fellas pizza. I will never get another Chicago pizza. My God, I made the mistake of like leaving it in the fridge for a couple of hours and it came, it was like fucking dull. Honestly, it was like an operation. Um, I've played easier video games. I want to have some biscotti, can't say that word, but there we go. Yeah, first bag up the way, second bag, whoop, 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 lucky charms, baby. Casper, give us these uh, because of Milo. Uh, got to meet some lucky charms, I love lucky charms. Got to eat them quick though. Um, right, first up, got some vinyl sleeves. Um, double, double switch. I just realised the camera needs charging, so I better hurry up. Uh, this needs some vinyl sleeves, and there we go. Taylor Swift's new album. That is the picture that is on the stairs, and that is for Britney Evermore. That's Britney's treat of the month. I'm not opening that. It's not mine. A couple of things in here. I got um, a Cobain t-shirt. Went on sale today. I got extra large because I am fat. Wait a minute. It's huge. This. this is a huge new t-shirt. So that's pretty cool. Um, it's really cheap. Three pound. Obviously, I got discount on, so it's even cheaper. Um, Right, so, 
We've got Harry Styles' first album, Britney. So that's Britney out the way. Stuff I need to pick up. So I've picked up three DVDs. Um, I'll tell you why I picked them up. Uh, first up, Greasy Stranger. Um, I've got a friend called Turner who I don't see enough of. Um, it's maybe a good thing as well because when he drinks, he's, he's honestly he's hilarious, but he's just dangerous. Especially once you start practicing his high kick. He's just he's crackers. He's he's an absolute laugh. But anyway, um, I've only ever seen Turner once at work in all his years. And he was, came in on day release for this. The Greasy Stranger. It's gone down to five ninety nine. Um, he said he absolutely loved it, so I always said I would buy it. So I've bought it again. Nice in the collection. Um, I've been watching um, Den of Thieves. I came quite high in Gordon's top twenty uh, for Alternative Four, which is not out when I filmed this, but uh, there was a trail for Green on it. And um, when I went and checked, it was only two forty nine, and I was like, "Well, that's mint." Um, so yeah, I mean I haven't seen it, trailer looks alright, so sold on the trailer for that. Last but not least, I haven't done a podcast with the lads all month. Um, the last podcast we did was Indiana Jones, and there's no rush because we've done the four Indiana Jones movies and we've done the Batman movies and I think there's like Big Trouble in Little China and Time Cops in there, so there's no rush. Um, it's been a lot going on, not only we're locked down and everyone going back to work, I mean me and Paul work together. Um, there's just been chaos going on. Um, but yeah, Evil Dead box set. I've been meaning to buy this for absolutely ages. I didn't own them. Got them on the VHS, got one or two on DVD, you know, they never the full set. Um, but the lads were wanting to do Evil Dead 2 one night. I said, well, this is before we decided to do Indiana Jones um, as the next series. And um, the next series we meant to do was Jaws. And we've had two misfires of film in that podcast. As I said, there's been a lot going on lately. Um, so yeah, um, I'm going to try and absorb this as much. I mean, Paul is a massive Evil Dead fan, so I've seen the remake quite recently. So, um, but I said I would get it. And say there's quite a lot of content on there. And it's one of the discs is just wild in there. Oh, God. I hate it when people come at work and they're shaking something. It's obviously the disc is loose in the box. And um, oh, so it's all right. Well, maybe it was until you did that. It's like. Uh, I mean, I don't talk about work that much, and yesterday, I mean, <laughs> we're losing Milo and stuff like that. I just try to keep me, like, my head down a bit. And I was serving a customer, and that was really cool. And this guy came on the wrong side of the queue, one hand in his pants, wearing double grey, his girlfriend following behind, mask around his chin, and went, Oh, man, have you got games like that loud? I mean, Christ, he was fucking, he was probably, like, down by that door. And I just went, Nah, and just. <laughs> And he just turned around and left and the guy the customer I was serving just went, that was probably the most intelligent answer you could have given him. We both had tears in our eyes. I was just like, how I mean that was quite rude of the guy who's going oh and it's just like nah there we go. So camera's flashing red, I haven't used it in fucking days. Um I'll try I mean I don't again I don't know how much I've filled I can't remember what I fucking bought. That's why I'm enjoying doing that new series. Was this worth buying? Like like there's a DVD upstairs with the Blu-ray. I was bought it eight years ago, it's still sealed. I was like, hmm, am I ever gonna watch it? See you in the next part of the video. Hello, hello, right, this should be the last entry because tomorrow is bank holiday, the 31st, I ain't buying anything. In fact, I ain't fucking leaving the house tomorrow. Washing machine's on, sun is going, and I feel like I'm out of breath. Whew, getting old. I've been running around like a headless chicken trying to get ready for this. Now, I haven't bought, I bought two things today, technically free. Not this. Ting, that was meant to be an amazing jump cut, it wasn't, but there we go. Justice League. It's got the flash on, so my little cousin's gonna probably want the flash. So if not, he's going in the attic like the rest of them. The rest of them. So what did I buy today? Now first off, I need bread. Ding! Washing machine's going. There we go. Green vinyl. Evermore album by Taylor Swift. I don't no. know what it is. Oh. I just wanted to make sure you got there. You got your unveiling of your Talk about buying. So I also got this this month. This is the brand new T-shirt by Slime House. Thank you, Phil. Um, yeah. Our <laughs> I hated the way that ended it, but this was the highlight of the show. So for all you line of duty watchers, um, Jesus, Mary, Joseph, and the wee donkey. <laughs> I go away. Just go. <sighs> Hear one more thing about like line of duty. Fucking hell, honestly, Jesus. Now there might be one more outtake, um, as I don't think I've really shown 
any one what I did with my turtles or nectar but I'll get that to the outtakes after I've checked that I've got nothing 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 else and dropped a planner. Now I bought two more things because I, I definitely forgot at the end of the month when you're clearing out the staff box and Casper was like who fucking buying these? I was like whoa totally forgot about them. Look at these bad boys. Now look at them. Now first off $2.49 each and it is Nosferatu and the Invisible Man. Now anyone wants to check out a cool video check out the weird wacky but wonderful for the Invisible Man when I uh, do a video for HMV for the Invisible Man. And Nosferatu, it's been a long time since I dressed up as Nosferatu, couldn't get away with it these days, could I? No. But yeah, these are little really cool. Um, little mini things. I need to put them open. But... But you talk about minimising the space and all that, there we go. <laughs> like that. It's perfect. So that's a mini little Nosferatu. And that's the Invisible Man. So this should technically be the end. Now this will be the first time ever the brand new outro tune from the Mitch Laddie band will be used. Again, we're replacing Leon after a couple of years, just the outtakes. Font's still the same, boom, 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 it's gone, but yeah. Oh, the font might change, I don't know, I haven't even got the edit of that yet, but it's a new song anyway, so I'll see you in the outtakes. Now who's smiling? Now who's smiling? Now who's smiling? Now who's smiling? <laughs> Piss sticks bastard. See, there's a box there. Hello. Um, right, okay, so it's quite early in the morning. Um, Brits at work today. Um, I haven't done much filming lately. There's no reason that, but it's nothing to do with this video. Um, I'm in room four, and um, to be honest with you, the last month I've probably been coming in here and just putting stuff down like this massive box. <laughs> just a box. Now, I recently filled up Paul. I don't want to lift Paul up. That's a separate video about the bands. Paul's in the corner, so I was like creeping into the room a little bit. Um, but yeah, I've been putting it off for a while, so a lot of films I've been watching, um, I've literally just been like stacking up, and they need filing. That was the floor load. Um, again, being back at work, going to work all day, putting stock back. But the stuff like, I see, Groundhog Day, shift to that for another video for the camera. Um, I want to move some stuff around, so there's been a few things, like there's a Castle Grey Skull over there, bought that like three weeks ago. Separate video completely, it's on the floor. Can you imagine telling that story? How did you fall over? I fell over Castle Grayskull. But there's like loads of shelves and stuff on, um, and it also needs a clean down. And obviously, Marv was modifying the house, and dust goes all over the place. So, um, I do plan on um, doing a bit of vamp today, but I want to go to a boot sale. So, I've never been to the Corbridge boot sale for years, so it's meant to be on. Drove all the way to Penrith yesterday. Again, didn't film one thing. Just need some time away from the, the not just the camera. Um, there's a lot going on in my personal life at the moment, so I think like instead of lying in bed this morning, I've got up. Um, I'm going to go up to Cobridge, see what I can get, and then I'm going to get back and one right it's in this room. So and I've got a budget. I've got a budget of about twenty-two pound. I've got. That's before I pay, and which I'm not sure how much it is. I better double check it's even on. But yeah, the plan is to sort of file everything away i might even um like to make it easier for me blu-rays um make like a horror a to z like you know stuff like that again when i go to work i do it at work but it's just the storage um again there needs to massive around because castle gray skull needs to be somewhere so i wanted one of them since i was a kid so it's gonna be displayed uh, i'm just gonna fucking leave now and try and think about it while i drive so for goodbye for now so i'm here and it's in a completely different place than it was last time. I mean, last time years ago. But I'm here, and I'm filming on my phone. Just little bits. Nothing special. But, yeah. Let's get out and wait, I guess. All the things you find in the middle of a boot sale. And now we're driving with Barney, who's the most aggressive driver you'll ever see. Ha! <laughs> the fucking box again. The box, the box, move the box. I'm done. 40 minutes. Still got my new budget. I only picked a few things up mainly for the house. Look at that man! I've had a break down to 33 and a 60. Fucking hurry up! This thing. I don't know how this has survived. It hasn't. God. You can see where I was maybe going. It's so cracked, hang on. So as I was saying yesterday, this may Welcome to the darkness of hell. 
Um, yeah, um, I got I got good quite far, yeah, good quite far. Well done, Stephen. Well done. Should have made this a weird, wacky, but wonderful. Not fucking just a random killing the time and killing some boredom. But yeah. Oh, right. Nice. Hello? Post! Postman! That's definitely broke. Hiya, you alright? What are you watching the window for? bought this for Brit. First one I bought today. Did a quick save bag. <laughs> Look at that. I haven't worked a quick save for years. And this guy was only a five pound. Everybody s screams when you say put your hands out. Am I going to like it or am I going to hate it? I don't know. Can't open your eyes. Okay. Oh god, I've got no idea what that is. At all. I'll have a look then. Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love them so much. Oh! Oh my god! Oh, he's beautiful. <laughs> oh! Look at this. It's a bit of all like. 80s, 70s, like back and board, isn't it? The fucking painting. Two quid. You know what's fucking cool about that? Not only are the colours mint, it's fucking the Loch Ness. So, like, I need to get the Loch Ness monster added in there for it to be totally mine. But look at that sunset, man. It's nice and shiny. Two pound, but this is, you know what I mean? It's someone's original painting, hasn't even signed it. Just one up Scotland, painted it. Now found one but so that's my find of the day, especially that when I had the Loch Ness monster on. But yeah, as I say, I'm not sure what this video is. Probably just me ranting away to nobody. But you know what? It's better than fuck all. See you in the next part of the video. Kind of woo. Kind of going to plan. Um, just can't really reach and grab. Um, so again, Castle Grey Skull pop vinyls are here, mine are up here. So I'm hoping to clear that, drop this down a little bit. Yeah, that's it. Really, it's before and after. But there's no before. I used to have a tortoise when I was a kid, but it bitters quite a few times. Hello, right. I'm not sure where this video is going. Um, you can probably see I've done a lot up the top there. The Bibles up here printers now there grey skull and kong um i'm writing down a list in the box the famous box it's a uh, half full um so i'm just getting it they're all going up in the attic um spent the uh, last hour talking to mr Theo kane um about something upcoming which is really cool um, I have a new t-shirt coming from Theo this week um as i say i'm clearing out this shelf um it's normally been the ones to go to um, something I wanted to do, though I don't know if it's in this video. It might have been a boot sale video, but just so it's got no home. Piss off, phone. And um, there you go. Time cop. <laughs> um, picked that up at a boot sale. Um, it, no, was it the boot sale or was it random shopping? The unboxing. This will probably end up in the unboxing video of me. But yeah, I found that and I love that. And obviously, I've been ranting on about the VHS and. You know, to me, Time Cop just reminds me of like the pictures back in the mid nineties, obviously when it came out. Uh, Van Damme's face, Time Cop. Now, enemies closer. That's a fucking cookie monster gone. Oh, it's just in a fucking horrible place, man. Now I've done a fast forward review for Enemy Closer. Enemy Closer has a very similar cover because it's by the same director. Trash this place today. But yeah, that's the one I had, red, but there was a green. So yeah, they've just changed it. No tagline on this one. Tagline, murderous forever until now. And on the back, just Van Damme doing a kick. Production, cast notes. But yeah, it's really cool. Fucking class, the one I found the other day, like. Even inside. Ooh, Van Damme. Van Damme's gone back in time. But yeah, I'm just ranting away, as I say. Time cop. Um, even though it's gone, 
done the podcast, I've done that, it's gone in the box. So right there, time cop. Times two to the box. Okay, here's an outtake for you. The record player finally has a home. Um, I made that out of an old shelf when I was having a move around and that's the Necker Turtles. Um, I've unfortunately left the ooze can on. So the light's gone. Sadly, the batteries don't last that long. Can easily be changed. That's an original uh, little glowing turtle there. I'm trying not to make a shadow. Um, use Posca pens. And yeah, just have a bit of blast with that. Hello in the outtakes. I still haven't got around to end the video. I don't really think I've dropped any clangers. They're just entries. It's the end of the month. Um, as I say, like the nectar thing. I, it was almost like I've been moving stuff around and there's a lot changed in the background. Obviously, Castle Grayskull, that was one outtake I needed to remember because that was bought in the boot sale, which appeared at the... Well, it wasn't the boot sale. It was last month's video right at the end. I nearly brought that out in May. Well done, Stephen. July. Let's move stuff moved. Sorry. Just walked off camera. But yeah, um, as I say, I've been moving stuff around in the background, and if it's not there, I mean, these were in the last video, or in this this video, they were in this video. I don't know, the month's just flown by. Where the fuck is this year gone? Never mind, last year. Um, but yeah, it was like the Posca pens and stuff like that. I just thought, oh, you know, who's can make a model of it, moving stuff around, justifying where it goes. Because originally I was going to sell me Nectar Turtles because that whole fiasco of Tokon Razor. And this is going back to the Spider Ground and the Spider Ground and eventually came back out. So Tokon Razor will eventually come out. So fuck you, you bought free, whatever. Um, so yeah, just off the ground. As I say, quick brief move around. Stuff's found a new home. American VHS is up there. Castle grayskull has got a fucking home. Um, all the Blu-rays and stuff have been subdivided and random shit and just random rant and hopefully this is probably the end of the video unless I'm editing it tonight and going hmm hmm need a bit there but no that's it that's it really I don't think I spent that much money this month unfortunately yeah but yeah that's doing my head in that's going to have to move I just moved it and then it moved again I don't know jump cut sorry the lighting's not going on Blu-ray side um, I discovered this bit of wall <laughs> that's when I, when I say discovered I moved the curtain so like I brought Vigo in there but I'm not really happy with Vigo in there I miss Vigo from the room but the Rocky thing finally has a home but that for some reason keeps moving but yeah all this got like moved around and stuff and I think we really found a home and just feels a lot more spacey and freshy spacey and freshy wow and even stuff like that Posca pens again strikes again Wicker Man Broke it all down, and the remains of the Ricker Man is now in a pot in front of the Ricker Man. The birthday stuff moved around. Um, another thing, I didn't cave. I, I re honestly, right, I didn't cave. So um, at work, we got the two big Godzilla and King Kongs in, and I was like, no. Everyone's like, what? I was like, no. I says, like, I've got a Godzilla there. There's another Godzilla somewhere. I say somewhere because I don't know what the fuck it is. The King Kong's up there. The Godzilla, the other Godzilla is not far shots. I've got two Godzillas and I was like, that's the Godzillas and I've got the other Godzillas in the room. Why do I need more? And that's I was like, yes, Stephen. Yes. Why do you need more? So hopefully this is the end of the video. Hopefully it is. Thanks for watching. Oh no. I'm about to do the promo for the new Lonely Train in the back on. I've got some beard wax on and I've rubbed my eyes. Brilliant. Aha, uh -huh. not yet, not yet. Now to give them a home, because I've just been doodling with Posca pens, there's been a lot going on, put the UV light on there. Obviously I made these. So that's my Arnold Schwarzenegger. Last action, you know. They killed his second cousin, big mistake. Um, starting to look like more like Simon Phoenix. Um, and it looks like he's got a cigar in his mouth, but I didn't. So it's like glass on paper on glass. So it's like Drew on multiple errors. Errors, layers. And I did also do it with the Pink Panther. Cause I'm a big pig panther fan. Now it didn't really start with them. They were the new ones while I was doodling away and walking off camera. But this is what I drew. So I drew that the other day. So that's no, we're just going to be this still for this month. Crouch down, go in the corner a bit. So I didn't buy that. I drew that. Um, it was a bit of glass. Um, I can't remember what was in the glass. Because it was a frame, it was something that broke. I don't know, it was some, maybe something in the attic. And I just drew that. So that, that's me talk on razor. Let's see, there we go. So yeah, the very end of the video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye,